the purpose of your self-analysis paper is to analyze yourself. Isn't that amazing? So the skill is truly the same. Instead of analyzing a text, you're analyzing yourself. So this is an opportunity for you to reflect on where you've improved throughout the quarter, how you have improved those things, and things that you still might have um, to work on. So uh, this, like I just said, the skill is exactly the same. I don't want you to just go back to being humdrum and not critical in your thinking, but now you're going to be critical in your thinking about yourself. So really think, and most of all, prove to me that you have grown in the areas that you think you have. Uh, for example, sometimes students will say, I have mastered grammar, and there are a ton of grammar problems in their paper. Okay, obviously they haven't grown that much if they're still doing it. So your paper needs to reflect the things that you are stating. Uh, I want you to give specific examples. That's your support for this analysis. That's what makes your argument plausible. Uh, so see, it, it's the exact same thing. You are writing an analysis, but it's on yourself and how you've progressed in this uh, course. Um, so please do, do use the same skills that you've learned in analyzing an article as you analyze yourself. Um, this essay is a little strange in that you are not going to be turning it into me for me to look at. Instead, it's going to go in your portfolio um, and not be turned in before that. So the first time I will see it is in the portfolio. It needs to be the very first uh, paper that you have in your portfolio. Um, so make sure you do that. All the MLA is standard. Uh, you don't need to work cited or anything like that. Uh, so just make sure that all your formatting is proper and perfect. Uh, it needs to be three pages long. And here are some questions that you can think about. I would really like to think, or I would like you to think about how you've met the course goals. Uh, you're going to have to look at the course syllabus to see those and think about how you have reached those. So I am going to um, be looking for those specifically. That's not really a suggestion. So please do that. Uh, relate your growth to the course goals on the syllabus. Uh, think about how your writing has changed. Think about your thinking and how it's changed. I would like to see both of those as well. Uh, I don't want to just know about your grammar and your introductions. I want to know how your thinking has changed. How has your view of the world around you changed because you have learned to analyze? Um, and again, specific examples. What examples have shown your improvement? What examples have shown your improvement for both of those? Uh, and then think about what you're still struggling with. What are you going to work on in the future? How are you going to work on it? And why do you think you're working? Or why do you think you need to work on it? Why are you struggling with it? Um, <clears throat> so it kind of has a past, present, future kind of organization to it, if you want to do it that way. Um, but, but I really would like to see all of this information within your paper. So those aren't really suggestions. So if you have any questions about them, let me know. Uh, support yourself with uh, specific examples, either th from the work you've done, Either, you know, papers you've written, discussion boards you've done, uh, the readings that you've read, whatever. But be specific. Don't just say, oh, my thinking has changed. I now do this and I do this and I do this and I do this, but not give any support and proof for your argument. Because, again, it's the exact same thing in this analysis as it is for a reading. You have to have um, support to make your claims plausible. I'm your audience, so this is the one time you can narrate. Yay, I'm not going to nag at you for not for narrating. It's a vacation. Uh, in terms of assessment, again, I am not going to see this paper until your portfolio. So you have to be really careful about that because I'm not going to give you feedback on it um, beforehand like I have all your other essays. So if you have any questions or concerns, you have to get this done uh, or you have to ask me before the portfolio is due more advanced notice, the better. One thing I want you to uh, remember about this essay, it's not a critique of me. It's not a critique of my course. It's not a critique of anything having to do with me or my course. It's all about you. Where have you started? How far have you come? Where do you have yet to go? Okay, so don't mention me. Um, yeah, I, it's not an evaluation of the course. It's an evaluation of you and your progress in the course. Okay. So here's the rubric. It's not a response sheet because I'm not going to be responding to it, but these are the required elements that you must have for it to pass in the portfolio. It's got three, be three pages long again, full pages. Uh, make sure all your MLA is correct. Uh, 
show me that you can analyze yourself instead of text. Use your analytical skills that you have um, developed all quarter. Uh, your course goals need to be in there and how you met them in some way. Again, the kicker is that you have to have specific examples to support yourself. Um, yeah, and the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. So there is your self-analysis. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will not see this until, um, you know, the first part of your portfolio. So if you have any problems, got to let me know before that.